Francia. I'm in good feeling, ok? Il tuo nuovo album, Erotica, ha un titolo provocatorio solo in apparenza. In effetti parla di sentimenti, d'amore e lo fa in modo sofferto. Perché hai avvertito questa esigenza? Because love. Well, it's it's meant to be an ironic sort of a title, but um, I think that ultimately love is very erotic. So I thought it was an appropriate title, since most of the songs on the album are love songs. Al di là di una connotazione dance, eh, questo disco ripropone molti, molti suoni degli, della musica degli anni 70. Perché? Chi ha influenzato la tua musica negli anni 70? Mm. Curtis Mayfield. I mean, the whole, all that, the, the Superfly, you know that music from that movie Superfly? The kind of very jazzy, black, 70s sound, um, Sly and the Family Stone. That's all I can think of right now. I mean, it wasn't really conscious, it just came out that way. C'è una canzone che mi ha colpito in particolare. Eh, parli della tua famiglia. Si chiama Deeper and Deeper. Parli di tua madre, delle cose che ti ha insegnato. Eh, si è influenzato la tua infanzia eh, e perché? Everything I do is influenced by my childhood. In un'altra canzone dici che è difficile eh, amare, eh, è molto difficile. Io ti chiedo perché è difficile? It's hard to love somebody because if to love somebody you have to make yourself vulnerable and you have to be completely honest and you have to tell the truth and that's the hardest thing in life for people to do, to be honest. To completely expose themselves to somebody. Trovando tutti molti sentimenti umani in questo disco, tu parli anche della gelosia. Tu sei gelosa e quando esplode in te la gelosia? Um, Yes, I can be a jealous person, and I think jealousy is something that stems from fear and insecurity. And when I feel insecure about myself, and I feel unsure about myself, then I am jealous. Cinque anni fa sei venuta in Italia per la prima volta eh, in tour. Eh, a Torino nel 1987 ti hanno visto in televisione 15 milioni di persone. Eh, come ti ricordo il concerto? Ok? Siete pronti? Siete pronti? Bene, anch'io. Siete già caldi? Bene, anch'io. Allora, andiamo. But uh, the first time that I had a really big concert here, here that was in, in Torino, and um, it was exciting. It was sort of like coming home, even though I never actually grew up here. And it was strange to see my family, because on the one hand, they looked like they were my relatives. They looked like they were related to me, and yet we could absolutely not communicate. <laughs> Well, the, the two sides of me. I mean, everyone has, um, everyone's personality is made up of different things. There's a very childlike, innocent, sentimental side to me. And on the other hand, there's a very mischievous, curious, um, interested in the dark side of life, interested to explore the erotic and sensual side of life and that's a part of me too. Delle trasgressioni più o meno scandalose. I couldn't even begin to describe myself. <laughs> I probably won't know until I'm 80. Madonna, il mondo è cambiato rapidamente in questi anni. Eh, sono crollate le ideologie eh, Los Angeles. 
eh, come vivi tutto que tutta questa realtà drammatica che ti circonda? E, eh, I think that all these things that you're talking about deal with injustice in some way or another, some sort of injustice and all of my songs deal with that. They deal with the way people deal with each other. They deal with honesty and deception and telling the truth and judging people or misjudging. First of all, the character that I play in A League of Their Own is, is even though it's a very sweet movie, um, a very innocent movie, I played the bad girl, you know, the mischievous bad girl in the movie. Okay, so. It's not so different Grab, grabbed, grabbed. than the other movie that I play because I also play the bad girl in the movie. It's just a different kind of a movie. It's more of a, of a thriller, like a, like a Hitchcock movie, um, a mystery where you have to figure out who, you know, who killed which person. And you can't figure that out until the very end. I mean, they're very different genres of film. But basically, um, I play the bad girl in both of them, so it's not like one is so completely d different than the next um well no because i'm never satisfied with anything i'm a perfectionist about so the more i know the more i want to know and i'm not satisfied because as far as i'm concerned you know i haven't found that incredible most incredible perfect movie to do because Lucchino Visconti is dead and so I've, I probably never will find that perfect movie to do. <laughs> so. You go back there and you tell old rich Mr. Chocolate Man that he ain't closing me down. What if at a key moment in the game, my, my uniform bursts open and... Uh, È vero che ti hanno proposto eh, due storie e probabilmente my, my non farai girl, nessuna right? delle due. Eh, una storia <laughs> in cui ci racconta la vita di Marcia Graham, questa grande danzatrice, un altro film che ti ha proposto De Laurenti, eh, gli ultimi giorni della vita di eh, Marie Monroe e i suoi rapporti eh, con i Kennedy. There's a script about Martha Graham that's being written right now. It's, a, it's, it's something that's being developed for me and I absolutely am very interested in doing it. I'm going to decide whether I want to do it after I read the script. The story about, um, there's a story, there's a novel called The Immortals. It's about Marilyn Monroe's affairs with the Kennedys and the last days leading up to her death. And Dino De Laurentiis would like to produce and develop a screenplay based on that novel. And he asked me if I would be interested in playing that role. And I said, I think that that's an impossible movie to make, really, because right now Marilyn Monroe is, is such an icon and so larger than life that, that that I don't think anyone could really portray her, not for a hundred years, because everyone has, would come to the movie with such expectations of what they would expect her to be, and I would never want to take on that responsibility. Um, so that's not something I'm interested in doing. C'è un brano um, in this life in cui tu uh, racconti con semplicità di un tuo amico di 23 anni morto di AIDS. Che storia è? Ed è per questo che tu sei così presente nella solidarietà verso eh, chi combatte questa terribile malattia? Um, yes, in this life is about two friends of mine that died of AIDS. One was a 23-year-old um, friend of mine and the other one was my, my ballet teacher. He was older, but it's really about, it's about both of them and really everyone who suffered from AIDS and um, I'm sure that the reason that I initially became interested in in, in fighting in fighting AIDS and, and, and figuring, trying to raise money to help find a cure and, and all that stuff is, is because people very close to me died of it and So, in answering your question, yes, the songs are about two friends of mine that died of AIDS, and that is originally why I became interested in, in the cause, um, but now, now I've just made it sort of a, a goal, a lifelong goal, 
until somebody finds a cure, um, I think it's something really important that everybody should be involved in. He was like a father to me. Nothing in the world that he wouldn't do. soddisfatta di questo disco e eh, che cosa pensi che eh, rappresenti nella tua evoluzione artistica e personale? Io sono molto contenta. <ride> Perché sei molto contenta di questo disco? Because I because it's what I, I want to do. I'm very happy with what I've done. I, I put my heart and soul into it and, and e è me e mi amo. Il successo ti ha più dato o ti ha più tolto? Hmm. I think, I think you need to get Karl Marx in here to answer these questions. <laughs> um, let's see. Did success give me... I think success is given and taken. I think the balance is pretty even there. And I think that for everything you get when you become very successful and famous and a celebrity and all those things, there's something else that you have to give up. So, um... As soon as the balance is tipped in the, in the opposite direction, I mean, if I ever felt like being successful and doing what I, I did took more from me than it gave me, I, I would no, no longer be interested in it.